Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm going to do a quick video on setting up a exit strategy on Motive Wave. So Motive Wave has lots of different options on how to place a trade. And I personally love to trade from the chart, but you can also use these exit strategies on the DOM. So whichever way you prefer, but we're just going to show right now, let's, here's a chart. It's a 15 minute chart on the NASDAQ. And we hit this dollar sign, it brings up the trade panel on the right. You can see your order quantity, good to cancel. And then down here, it's grayed out. I can't click on it. But if I hit this power button, it turns it on. And I can, it defaults to having a couple different brackets ready to go. And I set up this scalp trade where it just takes 10 points as a profit target and 10 points as a stop loss. That was just set up as an example. So if you want to create your own, what you're going to do is you're going to hit this gear icon box, go over here to exit strategies, and you can double click one. You can change the name. I like to do the offset type in ticks. If you want to do a risk based on percent of your account size, you can do that as well. It's just easier for me when I'm trading futures. I know what the ticks are and what I'm looking for but you can totally change this um, if you wanna take a bigger profit and a smaller um, stop loss, you can adjust that. And then over here, you can also do a break even. So let's say the trade goes in your favor and once it goes a certain amount, you want it to go break even. So that way you get stopped out and you don't lose any money, maybe commissions and maybe a little slippage if it does go there. but. Um, in general, I don't really do that. If I'm managing a trade, I can always click and trail it up myself manually if the if it's moving higher um, or moving lower, depending if you're going short or long. But anyways, you're just gonna type what you want it, hit okay. Then you're gonna hit apply. Now you can select. So pretty cool. And what I do, how I set up Motive Wave so I can trade from the charts easily is I like in this panel over here, this column that shows all the prices, you see how it's showing limit because it's above price. If I right click on my mouse, that's gonna send that scalp trade up there. So you can see it's it's going in at 80, stops at 90, take profits at 70. So basically 10 points either way. But it didn't transmit or send my order. I have to click this T button to transmit, or I can hit the C button to cancel. So that's how Motive Wave works. It's real simple. I love to do that on the charts. Again, you got to be in this panel. If I go below, um, let's see if we open this up and we scroll down. I can go long. I can set a trade there, hit transmit, and we'll go. Now, a cool thing to get that set up is you do need to do another adjustment on Motive Wave. So this top gear box up here which is the system preference. We're gonna go up there and then over here under orders, you see this create submit order. What that means is if I were to double click over in that box, it's gonna submit it. It's not gonna ask me to transmit. It's just gonna do it. But over here on the create order, no submit, I clicked it as right click. So that way I put the order in, but then I still transmit to make sure that's what I want to do. Um, I think that little extra second, uh, it's kind of like an extra confirmation. It's just make sure you know what you're doing. The price is set right. You have a stop. You have a take profit. Everything's good to go. Takes literally no time to hit that little transmit button. If you don't like that, no problem. You don't have to do that way. You can do double click. Or if you're intraday scalping and price is moving up, you can do um, sell bid, buy bid, um, whatever you want to do and you can get in quickly that way. And once you're in trade, if it's, you wanna get out real quick, you can hit the flatten all, um, you can hit cancel all, like if you had a couple of trades set up here, um, you could do cancel all and it will just get you out. So it has a lot of great features. Again, I like to trade from the charts. Some people like to do the DOM. You can do the same thing though. You can set up scalp trade here and then you would just be clicking on the bid and the ask. So um, whichever your preference is, but yeah, you're just gonna go into the settings to do exit strategies, create a couple things, 
and you're good to go. So real simple, awesome to have those setups ready to go, built in. That way you know you've got a take profit and a stop loss in and you can trade responsibly. All right, thanks again. Hopefully this was helpful. Remember to like the video if it was and to subscribe to the channel for more. Take care.